Hey guys, this is Bobby from Statistic Ironworks. Today we're going to show you how to install height sensors. There's a common misconception that height sensors are difficult to install, but today we're going to show you the easiest way to do it. This is the accurate height sensor you'll get in your kit. Height sensors are the only accurate way to measure your height of your vehicle in today's market. First thing you're going to want to do is find a good location for your height sensor. You want to start with placing your height sensor in a location where it clears your sway bar, your sway bar end length, your upper control arm, and your bag. Mounting your height sensors could be done in different locations, either up against the subframe, or like we like to do, is build mounting brackets that will locate your sensor in different spots, wherever's best not to come in contact with any movable part. We found a location that best suits our sensor. Now we're gonna cycle the suspension to make sure nothing contacts it. As you can see, our up travel doesn't contact anything, and our down travel doesn't contact anything. After determining this is the best location for our sensor, we're going to make a simple bracket that helps us locate the sensor on the subframe. After mounting our sensor on our bracket, we're going to use some double-sided sticky tape to mount it onto the subframe. When mounting your sensors, you want to accurately locate your D-shaft with a sensor plug. In our case, our sensors are going to be mounted vertical, which our D-shaft will have to rotate to the bottom. Remove the screws and rotate the sensor. Making sure the flat point of the D-shaft is away from the plug. Acura includes these travel limiter gauges to help determine your linkage measurement. The limiter gauge shows you the maximum travel with our height sensor mounted, we found the ideal location on top of our control arm for our linkage. Now we just have to measure our travel distance with our upper control arm. In order to find the travel distance, you want to measure from a hard point on the vehicle to where your lower linkage is going to be mounted. Measuring from the body to our lower linkage mounting point, we have 16 and 7 eighths. Now we're going to cycle the suspension to measure the difference. At full bump, our measurement is 14 and 3 quarters giving us a travel distance of two and an eighth. Acura gives you four points to mount your linkage to. Your fourth one is four inches, your third one is three inches, second one's two inches, and your first one's one inch. With our two and an eighth travel distance, we're gonna use the third hole, which gives us seven sixteenths buffer on full bump and full droop. That seven sixteenths buffer will prevent overextension of the height sensor in extreme suspension situations, such as putting it on a rack or off camber driveways. Now that we determined our travel distance, we made another simple bracket to bolt to our upper control arm. Measuring from our lower linkage point to our height sensor, we have three and three quarter inches. This measurement will determine how long our linkage has to be. Acura provides an eight inch linkage arm. We now have to cut these down to get our three and three quarter inch. Do that by removing the hind ends removing the sheath and cutting it down to your desired length. We've cut our linkage down to three and three quarter and reassembled. Now we'll place the linkage back onto the lower linkage point and the sensor arm. With this still in our mock-up phase, we can now articulate the suspension to make sure nothing hits or binds. When cycling the suspension, you want to check your linkage rotates within itself as it's going up and down. While cycling the suspension, we wiggle the linkage back and forth just to check any binding. If no binding is present during the up travel and down travel, you know your sensor locations are perfect. During your final suspension sweep, you want to make sure your sensor arm and linkage don't go past the point of being straight. Or your sensor could hyperextend leading to a broken arm. Now that our mock-up was successful, we can now securely mount our sensors. We've drilled holes and used rib nuts to securely mount our sensors. Make sure all your height sensors and linkage points are firmly secured. Don't use bailing wire, bubble gum, zip ties, or anything else that doesn't bolt something together. Now that our sensor is fully mounted, we can take the measurements from the driver's side to the passenger's side, noting that the sensors don't have to be exactly the same or have the same full range of motion, 
E-Level will learn and adapt each corner's range of motion. If you follow these quick and easy steps on mounting Acura height sensors, it should be a breeze for you. This is Bobby at Sadistic Ironworks. Thanks for checking in.